Hi there. This tech talk is on implementing and using groups in your Moodle course. Oftentimes an instructor tells us they are teaching more than one section, more than one CRN of the same course, and they oftentimes assume that they need more than one Moodle shell, one for each CRN. Well, if you think about it, that's more than one set of resources and activities to be managing, where we can oftentimes show them how within one Moodle shell to have more than one group, more than one CRN, let's say, enrolled in the shell and also divided up into groups within that shell. So I'm in a Moodle shell right now, one of the least popular courses on campus, by the way. In the administration block, down to edit settings. It's in this settings area that we turn on the group functionality. When I'm in any settings page, I usually just, by habit, click expand all on the right side and then here I can scroll down to the groups area and under group mode if I click the little question mark first I can see that the default setting of no groups and there are two group settings separate groups and visible groups usually instructors when they understand these two settings they decide on separate groups so that's what we're going to go with today And just a quick little indicator here under forcing the group mode, you can, if you want to have the course level group mode, in this case separate groups, implemented across all of your activities. So regardless of what, how an activity itself is set uh, for group mode, you can indicate if you want to force at, at the course level the separate groups or the visible group settings. So we won't worry about that right now, but that's just a setting in case you decide you want that feature. And at the bottom, of course, save and display. And so now that groups are enabled in the course itself, we need to go a next step to administration block, down to users, down to groups, to create some groups, and then enroll students in those groups. So on the groups page here, so we have no groups in here yet. And so tr to create a group, we want to click create group. So the two most often uses of the group name are basically say a CRN, or maybe even let's say one class meets Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the other class meets on Tuesday, Thursday. So let's create this first group. Of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And we'll save changes down here. We'll make another one for the Tuesday, Thursday class. Create group again. We'll call this Tuesday, Thursday. So now on the left side, there are the two groups. So let's select the Monday, Wednesday, Friday group and click add and remove users over here on the right side and then we're going to see all the students enrolled in the course and so let's just say I've got my banner roster here and I've got the two CRNs handy in front of me I can click on this student and this one and this one let's just pretend these are in my Monday Wednesday Friday class and by the way clicking these non-contiguous users in this list can be done by clicking the, well, holding the control key or the command key on a Mac while you click. And then once these are selected, I can click the add button and they'll be moved over here or added over there, I should say. So now my Monday, Wednesday, Friday group consists of the Monday, Wednesday, Friday CRN. I click on back to groups at the bottom and I'll add some members to the Tuesday, Thursday group select it over in the groups area click on add remove users now I'm able to see by these numbers within the parentheses that these are the students are already in one group in my course so let's just go with the other students of course double checking on my banner roster who's that weirdo and click on add and now my Tuesday Thursday group will be populated there we go. I can go back to groups at this point if I want to. And I can just verify at a glance 
that my Monday, Wednesday, Friday class has got these people and my Tuesday, Thursday has got those people. So one of the most popular requested reasons to be using groups in the first place is to keep students divided up uh, in, in the gradebook view. So I could, if I wanted to, go back to the course start page, but I always have the administration block available to me. And over in course administration, I can go to grades directly into the gradebook from here. And here's where you'll see some of the power behind using groups within the same Moodle shell, just different groups. I can view all the participants. or I can view them by separate groups. Now there's a lot more you can do with the groups in your Moodle course, but this will get you started setting them up and getting the groups created and getting your students enrolled in them and using it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.